Alright guys, we are back with the follow-up video. So, in this video, we'll be going over editing some of the canon and configs um, because, you know, you might want to match it with this server. So it's basically situational and also adding some better plugins. Now, some people ask why I didn't do this in the first video and the first video was just purely about making a free local host server that basically works with canons. And I didn't want to make it too long and make it too complicated, so yeah. Um, so we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is slash stop. So we're going to stop our server, minimize our Minecraft. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag these three files to our desktop. So basically, the first one is Canon Debug. So this is a updated version or a forked version by SK, which is better. So I probably should have done this in the first video, but here's the better version now. And we've got Multiverse Core, which will let us create a flat world. So obviously it's cleaner to Canon in. And we have Clean Room Generator, which basically lets us customize all the Y levels for blocks. Like, we can have Bedrock obviously at Y1 or Y0. And then we're going to have Quartz at Y1, for example, which goes across the entire world. So that's really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Plugins folder and drag all of these. Then once that's done, you're going to start the server again. And then you want to join this server. Also, while the server's logging in, or while we're logging in, um, some people are probably going to expect like button press plugins, wand plugins, all this sort of stuff. But I don't ex exactly have that for you guys. So all, there's no open sourced button pressing or one plugins like that. The only ones that are out there are cracked and I'm not gonna obviously give you guys a download to a cracked thing because obviously it's not open source, it's not my work, don't have credit. Well, well I mean, I don't have the ability or permission for the owner to post it. And also cracked ones obviously can have like rats in it and stuff. And I don't wanna, you know, wrap my entire YouTube audience, so <laughs> yeah. So once we've logged into our server, what we're going to do is, so I've got this command here because it's really long and annoying. So basically, this is the command to create our world, our flat world. So what we're going to do is, so the last two numbers you may want to change. So the last two numbers mean, so the first number means y, um, 1, so obviously meaning um, how many blocks above bedrock it's going to go with this block here. So this is 155, so in other words it's quartz. So basically it's saying that we want one block above bedrock of quartz. So if you can have 10 blocks above bedrock and you can have like stone instead, up to you, whatever you want. But for this tutorial we're going to do one block above bedrock with quartz. So this is the command here. I know on it might not work for you guys, but sometimes it requires a comma. But on the page it has this. It's really it's really annoying and frustrating, but sometimes you have to use a comma like me. Or sometimes you have to do this. So just see if it works or not. And yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste that. And it's gonna create the world. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do before, so if that doesn't work, just make sure you do slash MV and make sure you have the plugin installed properly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do MVTP clean room and this will TP us to our new flat world, which you can see right here. And obviously, it's only Y2 with one block of quartz above. And yeah. So I know some people are going to be in the comments asking, you know how you do it so you have like a checkered floor like the big Canon servers where it's like where it looks something like I don't know something like this um, I'm not entirely sure how you how you do it so I know you, you might need plus squared but I don't know how you do it just with clean room generator alone so obviously you can do it with plot squared but what's the point of installing a plus squared plugin that's for like a server with many cannoners on it, so yeah. But if you want, you could do that, but I'm not going to show that in this video. So now that that's done, 
So our world's all good, but we've got mobs spawning. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set home. Set home, cannon. And now we're going to stop the server. And now we're going to go through the world config. Um, just to get rid of all that annoying stuff. So go into plugins, multiverse core, config. Sorry, not config. You're going to go into worlds. And you want to scroll down until you see clean room. Actually, it's at the top here. So you want to see clean room like this. So I'm going to change a few things. So we're going to change difficulty to peaceful because we obviously we don't want mobs spawning. Allow weather, which is like rain, all that stuff. Just put that to false when I want that. And animals, you want to put this to false so we don't have like chickens and stuff spawning. Monsters to false. And hunger to false. And game mode to creative. So that way, as soon as you join, the default <coughs> the default game mode will be creative. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for um, the server. So what we're going to do is file, save that. And close out of those two. Now go back to our server and we want to start that up again. And now you want to join the server. So now what we're going to do is just make sure this all works. Now we're going to do our kind of config customization I guess. Alright, so now as you can see, if we, even if we do night time, night, there's no mobs, there's no slime, nothing spawning. And even if we try and do like say, even if we try and spawn ourselves, it won't let us. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so now I want to go through our cannon con configs. So now I want to do slash stop, minimize our Minecraft, and the first thing we're going to go through is our ion.yml file. So the first thing you might want to change, so it might be set on false um, on your ion file, but basically I'm just going to describe what this does. So PandaWire is basically, originally was a plugin that made redstone more efficient with like the processing and, and whatnot. And originally it was very bad because it screwed around with order of entities and basically everything <laughs> redstone related. So it wasn't really used until recently where they fixed that up, I'm pretty sure. So Order of Entities works and all that sort of stuff. But there are still some issues with it. So specifically one-shot regen busting. So from my experience and others, one-shot regen busting sometimes doesn't work with this enabled. So if you're a regular comp cannoner, just leave this to true. doesn't really affect you. But if you're a cannoner who plays Cosmic or a cannoner that likes to make one-shot regen busters, um, leave this to false but pretty much all this really does is just makes makes the server um, less laggy I guess when you're firing quite extreme cannons with a lot of redstone so yeah and the next thing you might want to change is in this part here so where it says more efficient merging so leave this on false but if you want to put it onto true only put it onto true if you've got a really bad computer or if you're using a very extreme cannon where it uses a lot of TNT and it shoots very fast like a 0 0.1 to 55 or something but if, if you're not making any extreme cannons just leave this onto false so yeah so if you made any changes just do file save now we're going to go over our paper.yml file and the only thing we really might want to change here is falling blocks collide with signs so 95% of servers has it so that sand stacks on signs but if you play a server where sand just falls straight through signs then you want to put this to false um, but as I said 95% of servers falling blocks do collide with signs so just leave this on true but um, if you play a server that doesn't have that then put it onto false so yeah now if you made any changes there just do file save of course now I'm going to go to our spigot file 
Now, the only thing we really want to change here, so this is situational again, is the max TNT per tick. So I might have mentioned this in the previous video, but if you want to sort of simul simulate your servers, so the faction server you're playing, if you want to simulate their environment, and there's like say a 1500 TNT cap, you might want to put that to 1500 instead of a million, like I have. But if you're on a server where it's like, you don't even know the TNT cap, and it's like a comp server like Vanity or something, and you, you don't really need a TNT. Um, you don't need to simulate that really. You can just put it to like a million. Because obviously you're not going to make a cannon with more than 5,000 TNT. That's within the rules. So, yeah. So if you change that, just do file save. We'll close out of that. And the last one is our Tarko YML file. So these two changes that I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure I went over last video. But I'll go over them again. Fixed East West Cannon, if you're on a server that does have it, leave it on True. If you play a server that doesn't have it, leave it on False. Disable Fallen Blocks to 256. So if you want to make a cannon to exploit, like a Roof Cannon patch, and you want to simulate that server's environment as much as possible, put this on to True. So yeah, if you made any changes, of course do File, Save. And yeah. So, once that's done, launch our server again, and that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and before I head off, I'm going to be doing some Canon tutorial videos now, so, yeah, and some Valorant as well. I know a lot of you guys probably get pissed off when you see me uploading Valorant videos, because it's not a Canon, but yeah, I'm going to be uploading some Valorant, and um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy and have a nice day. Goodbye.